Alrighty folks, how are you today? Uh, hump day, Wednesday morning. It's about, uh, I don't know, 9.45, 10 o'clock. Just popped into the local dealership here that I get a lot of parts from because they got some old iron sitting over here. I wanted to get your eyes on that way. If you're in the market for something like this, you can, uh, you know, do what you gotta do and give them a jingle. So this is where we're at right now. This is a 1982, it's a 1982 F9670 International Cab over we got here. Uh, get on that. Eagle. Oh, it's got the 290 horsepower Cummins in it. Um, it's just got two 14 inch wheelbase on this truck. Uh, stopped in about a month ago, I was getting some stuff and I talked to Todd, that's the salesman. He said they went, I think five or some hours, flew out and then drove it back. Uh, dual stacks, this thing is sweet, man. Said it was an old Budweiser truck. So yeah, you can see this. Clydesdales. So this used to pull some horses around Johnson's, Budweiser, Clydesdale. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can. So this is sitting out in front of the, the shop here by the road. People to get their eyes on and see this thing's a beauty, man. This thing's a straight beauty. And it's got that window back there. Decent sized tanks. Uh, 10 speed. I don't know with the rears or anything like that. I don't know any of that information. And of course, Todd's not here, but... You know, if you, you want something like this, you're interested in this, just give him a call and leave him a voicemail, and I'm sure he'll get back with you. Because, you know, he's always in the market to pick this kind of stuff up and have it around just for, you know, why not? So, let's get in here. This deck plate is sweet, too. Look at that. All fresh and clean. Brand new steps. It's uh, definitely a sharp truck, that's for sure. I'll tell you that much right now. I don't know if it's unlocked or not. I'm going to try to get up in there if you want take you in there where you can see the interior yeah she's unlocked buddy look at that stuff that is classic right there uh you're not gonna find anything more classic than that and this is super clean too i can tell you that much right now get up in there oh yeah that bunk the way that is that is sharp this is just sweet all this stuff in here the shag original shag CD player up here looks like there's remote. Uh, yeah, get you some of that. Not sure the mileage. It says 028896, which uh, if this is pulling around Budweiser horses, this might be, that may be an actual. But I don't know. If you're interested in this, give them a call because this thing is, uh, this thing's nice, man. That's for sure. And it's, you know, it's been sitting up here. I think he's had it maybe a month and a half. Could be wrong, but I, I'm thinking that's about what it is. So, uh, I don't know, like I said, if you're interested, you know what to do. Check it out. Hopefully you enjoy this stuff. I love finding old iron like this. And this is probably something you could work or just do whatever you wanted to with it, you know? Right here. Get some of that. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, let's just do some more walking around it. So we're going to go over to that truck next. Because that's old iron, too. But uh, yeah, this seems good looking truck. Definitely be good looking running down the road, whatever you're doing with it, you know? All right, let's come over here. Let's look at this. I love this thing. Uh, the way that bed is on there, that sleeper, the box. This is a 1987 International 9300. Uh, it's got the big cam 400 in it. Uh, Talked to Steve, one of the maintenance guys over here about it. He was telling me about it. And I like the way it's got the four lights there. Eagle. It's got a 13 speed with a two 40 inch wheelbase over here. So this is something that would be available too. Oh, and Todd's pulling around, so maybe I'll be able to get a chance to talk to him here. This thing is sweet. If I was in the market for a truck, this is what it would be right here. Shoot some YouTube footage. See your stuff. Old iron, buddy. Yeah, I should be having that uh, VIN sticker come pretty soon. That way I can get that little Volvo taken care of with state inspection. So I'll get a hold of you. Sounds good, man. Thank you.
Yeah, I love the way this thing is boxy, short and square. You could clean this thing up too easy. This could easily be a working truck for sure. That is what that is right there. No, oh, look at that. Get in there, Eagle. Let's see if we can get in this interior. I've never been in this interior, so I don't know how it is. But nice floor, nice and flat. Oh yeah, this is spacious. Oh yeah, this leather's all nice and stuff. I don't know if this is fresh or if that's original, but all this stuff in here looks really good, to be honest with you. This Eagle, oh, could use a deck, nothing here. Probably some air wipers. This one says 263773, which I'm sure this is probably rolled over here. Um, but you never know. So, got the old, um, look at that. Got that on here as well. Got the long knob, long shifter. I don't know if I said what this was or not. I think it said a 13 speed with a 400. So this thing will probably get down the road okay. Um, bunch of switches in here. High mirror. I don't know what this one is. There's nothing. Engine brake. So we got an engine brake on here. That's cool. Sliding fifth wheel. So good stuff. You know, looks like there's the brights down there. Oh my God. Bright switch. A lot of bling, a lot of bloom. This right here, this would be a truck, you know, if I was in the market for a hood, which I'm not, because, well, like the old cab overs and stuff, uh, I'd probably run something like this. Because, I mean, that wheelbase is about perfect to be able to get in where you want to. Could probably use a little freshening up on a the paint there, but, uh, you know, it's one of those things where make it your own. It's a couple new signals. You can see they had some old pinstripe and stuff in here, which it's gone. It says 88, but it, uh, it's listed for 87. So if you're interested in stuff like this, you know, uh, message or comment and I can drop the number on my, you know, on the comments and stuff like that. That way if you want to give them a call and talk to them about some of this stuff. If you might be interested in some old iron that's sitting over here, how to get it, you know, what to do, financing, whatever, get a hold of them. So it's going to conclude this one right now because it's starting to rain and I'm going to get inside, but I do know they have a couple more cab overs up in there which uh i'll talk to him here soon and you know i want to go in there and have the mechanic take us around the one if possible i don't see why they wouldn't let me but we'll see pretty good pretty good people up here they always take care of me when i need something so until the next time you know what we say we will see you